Sean Tubbs here. Today I want to talk about the differences between 40 watt 6v6 power sections and 20 watt 6v6 power sections. Now this is the new D20 from uh, Rev and it is indeed a 20 watt 6v6 powered amplifier. Uh, the clean channel on this is very similar to the clean channel on the, uh, the Dynamis. Now the Dynamis is a 40 watt 6v6 driven amplifier and obviously there's going to be volume differences between the two um, but I want to focus more on the sonic differences and the feel differences and also what I want to do is is this one will switch down to uh, from 40 watts to 7 watts this guy the uh, the d20 will actually switch all the way down to 4 watts from 20 watts and once again, I'll get into just letting you hear uh, the differences. So I'm not going to turn on any overdrive pedals. I'm going to stay on the clean channel because you can hear right away uh, what's happening in just feel um, and, and sonics. So uh, what you just heard was me playing uh, the Dynamis in the 40 watt mode. <laughs> Now I've got it set up to break up a little bit. Now I could dial it so that it's really, really clean, but I, I like having a little bit of break up there. Now what I want to do really quick is just go ahead and switch over to the seven watt mode. Now obviously it's considerably quieter, but it's also uh, less efficient. There's a little bit more break up there. And it's actually a sweet break up because you're hearing a less efficient power section. So now those 6v6s are working a little bit harder. So once again, it's less efficient, but it feels great. So now if I were to actually gun my mic pre's and bring that back up, that would be a pretty huge sound. And, and that's really the whole point is not to focus so much on the volume difference because it's great to be able to have the amp be that quiet, but more to focus on just how good it sounds and how different it sounds at a lower wattage setting. Now I'll bump it back up. So that's much more efficient breaks up a little bit less. When it does, it's not quite as sweet because we're not hitting those 6v6s as hard. So that's a great sound. Let me switch over to the D20 and I'm going to do the same exact thing, but I also want you to focus on what it sounded like to go from 40 watts to just 20 watts with similar uh, uh, front ends or preamps. So I'll play something similar. We're in the 20 watt mode on the D20. So what I'm hearing is it's not quite as uh, robust because now this is a 20 watt amp. Still sounds really sweet. It's breaking up a little bit sooner and in my opinion breaking up a little bit sweeter but once again that's because of how those power tubes are responding at 20 watts as opposed to 40 watts. Now check this out. I'm going to bump it down to 4 watts. Same thing has happened. It's certainly quieter, but it's breaking up quite a bit more and it's breaking up sweeter. Now on both these amplifiers in those modes, in the 7 watt mode and the 4 watt mode, they're also a little bit more squishy or more compressed in feel. I'll go back to the 20 watt. 
So I hope that gives you an idea of the differences between a 40 watt amp that can switch down to 7 watts and a 20 watt amp that can switch down to 4 watts using uh, the same power section, 6v6 tubes. This one's got 4, this one's got 2. It's not just volume difference, there's a sonic feel and, uh, and focus difference. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll have more for you soon.